everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and welcome to this new video. Today I'd like to go over one really easy but on the other hand very useful plugin for your online stores. Jet Product Gallery plugin for Elementor. It's been created to widen the possibilities of styling the products with the help of extremely comprehensive widgets. With it you'll be able to showcase your products in stunning layouts show product variations in appealing and effective way, and even add product videos. So guys, if you are new to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button below this video to not miss interesting and handy tutorials, and also to stay tuned for upcoming live broadcasts. Jet Product Gallery is a great and easy-to-use plugin that completes your WooCommerce products. It's got four different widgets that will help you to display your products in their best light. It is a great choice for displaying product galleries, so you could showcase product images in the form of classic or modern galleries with multiple style settings. It supports product video overviews, so you could add a video to any of the products and manage its options to make it perfectly fit in the product page. And it allows you to use horizontal or vertical product image sliders to deliver the information in the most beneficial way. To enable the widgets, follow to Crocoblock, Jet Plugin Settings, Jet Woo Product Gallery, Widgets. Here you will find the list of available widgets such as Gallery Anchor Navigation, Gallery Grid, Gallery Modern and Gallery Slider. You can easily disable the widgets you don't need or keep them enabled for further usage. Also, if you go to Products and open any of the products available, you'll find an additional section Jet Products Gallery Video, where you can choose the type of the video you want to add to your product, YouTube, Vimeo or self-hosted, set a placeholder for it and enter the video URL. Don't forget to update the product before leaving this page, ok? So right now let's take a look at our awesome Jet Product Gallery widgets, their features and apply them to our website. Gallery Grid Gallery Anchor Navigation Gallery Modern Gallery Slider Right now, let's go ahead and create a couple of single product page templates to see the widgets in action. Let's go to Crocoblock, Woo Page Builder. Here I already created single product templates, but if you don't know how to do it, simply click on Add new template, pick single from the list, give the name to your template and either choose the layout that you'd like to start from or leave it unselected to build the template of the product page from scratch. And after that, click Create. I'll open the first single product template with Elementor to start editing. Here we can see all the information about the product except for the gallery. Let's start with the gallery grid widget. Let's scroll way down to the bottom of the Elementor panel to find Jet Product Gallery Widgets tab and drop Gallery Grid widget right into the left column. Just as usual, here we have three tabs. Content, Style and Advanced that give you the opportunity to customize and design the widget to the bits. So, in the Content tab we have General, Images and Video sections. In General we have the opportunity to set the exact product ID if needed, but I'll leave it empty in my case, cause the template will pull the ID of each product automatically. Then we can enable Gallery option and once done, Right here we can customize its settings. Also, we can enable zoom and set zoom magnify. Just like that. 
Then in the images section, you can adjust the size of the image and set the number of columns. Here in the gallery, we can select the button icon. Either choose one from the library or upload a personal SVG. And decide whether to show or hide caption. Right here we get to choose which controls to show. I'll leave them all enabled. And the most interesting, video section. Here we can customize and adjust the way we want our product video to be displayed. So, to start off, we can decide whether to show the video as part of the gallery content or show it in pop-up. The settings for both of the options are pretty much the same, that's why I'll go for the pop-up. If the product video has been uploaded to YouTube or Vimeo, then here we get to choose the aspect ratio. Enable autoplay option and loop the video if needed. Select the pop-up overlay color and pick the pop-up button icon. Everything is right here at your service. In the style tab, we get to set the columns gutter, customize the images styling, design the photo swipe trigger to choose the most convenient position, size and color for it. Adjust the background color for the photo swipe gallery and its controls. Customize the video pop-up button to make it look nice and appealing and apply stylization to the play button if needed. Let's update the template and preview the changes to see what we've got on the front end. Ok, looks pretty nice. So, let's open the second single product template to go over another amazing widget – Gallery Slider. Let's search for the gallery slider and drop it right into the left column as before. Over here in the Content tab, we can see General, Images, Slider and Video sections. As you can see, the settings look kind of similar to the ones in the Gallery Grid widget. So let's start with the General section and enable both Gallery and Zoom options. Now, in the images, let's set the size of the image along with the size of the thumbnails image to large. Moving on to the slider section, here we can enable slider syncing, center mode and equal slides height. Also, we have the opportunity to set slider sensitivity, which is really good for the mobile devices. The bigger the number you set over here, the fewer swipes you'll need to do on your phone, for example, to change the slide. Right here you can enable or disable navigation and apply appropriate arrows. I'll not use it in my case. And here you can adjust the pagination too. Choose the type you like, bullets or thumbnails. Select direction, horizontal or vertical and set position. I'll remove thumbnails arrows and leave the visible items count 4. Ok, in the gallery we have the same options as before, so let's leave them all enabled and change the button icon to SVG. And video. Let's display it in the content, loop the video and leave all other options the way they are. And just don't forget, if you want the video to be displayed in the first place, you'll need to make sure this option is enabled. And as for the style tab, again, plenty of customization settings are right here at your service. So it's totally up to you and your imagination how to use these extremely comprehensive options. Ok, let's update the template and preview the changes. Ok guys, are you ready for another widget? Let's go for the gallery anchor navigation. Pretty easy, but very cool widget. 
Search for it in the Elementor widget panel and place it into the empty column. Enable gallery and zoom if needed. Set the magnifier and choose the image size. Adjust the gallery button icon and decide what controls to show. Apply the video options you like and proceed to the styling. I'll just make a few minor changes because, you know, I like it minimal and simple, but you can surely let your creativity run wild. Okay, don't forget to update the changes and there we go, looks pretty neat. And last but not the least for today, Gallery Modern Widget. Simply type in the word modern in the search panel and place the widget in the proper column. As you can see, it's got the same settings and options as previous widgets, so you'll have no issues with customizing and styling it to your liking. I just want to make a quick stop by the Style tab to show you one really cool thing. Here you can adjust the image's proportions and also you can set the vertical alignments for each image in the gallery. Pretty sweet, huh? So, let's update the changes, good, and as you can see, it makes your single product page look very nice and unique. Also, I'd like to show you one tiny little trick that might come in very handy if you're planning on building a stylish online store. This very cool option is available for Jet Products Gallery and Jet Builder plugins combination. If you go to Products and open any of the products in your store, right here you will see Jetbo Builder Template Settings, where you can assign your custom template to a specific product. For example, I'm using Single Product Slider Template as default for all of the products in the store. But let's set Single Product Anchor Nav for oval sunglasses, for example. Update the product and check out the front end. Cool! So now let's set the single product grid for the handbag with chain strap. Again, update the product and go to the front end to see the result. And let's assign the single product modern for the printed hoodie. Update the product and preview the changes. Ok, so using this tiny little trick, you will have an opportunity to create as many single product templates as you need, style them to your liking and desire, and assign them to the products accordingly. Hope this helps to boost your creativity and search for new solutions in web design. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was useful, give it a like and leave your feedback right in the comments below this video. Share your wonderful ideas with us on our GitHub page and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!